We're out here today in Brandon, Florida on a pool deck patio that has settled. If you're a homeowner that's experienced any settlement on your pool deck or patio or stem wall, you're gonna to wanna to watch this quick video as we walk through and explain kind of what was going on out here. The, the homeowner, you may have heard of cases where pools have had a leak in them. Um, this homeowner had a leak in the pool, which caused some erosion and uh, washout, which if you look here in the corner, caused this corner to start to settle. There was also some runoff that was causing settlement, um, but a main deal was the pool leak and also possibly weak compacted soils because a lot of pool decks, when they're constructed, they don't compact thoroughly and you can get settlement uh, a few years down the road. So in this case, the solution, we're doing deep injections to densify and solidify the, the soil or strengthen it with the poly foam, uh, polyurethane injection. And on this pool, you can see we did that along the whole back half of the pool. Um, the homeowner is uh, getting prepared to do cosmetic repairs on this house. So he wants to ensure that the home is sitting on a solid, firm foundation once he starts those repairs. As you see, we've wrapped it around the backside and uh, want to have you take a look at the, the guys are doing some slab injections on the pool deck in this area. Uh, we have our foreman, Ryan, and the guys making sure everything stays clean. They're injecting underneath this slab, against to densify, uh, solidify, because the homeowner wants to come back after we're done and do all the cosmetic repairs and take care of, of uh, the back area here so they can start enjoying the pool uh, for summer. You may be wondering what, what are some common things to look for on my pool deck or patio. One, you're gonna look around the pool coping and if you see any sort of uh, cracking around the exterior of the pool, it may be a sign that you're experiencing some settlement. If you have any sort of leaks in your pool, that can also contribute to pool deck settlement or patio or pavers. And the homeowner, if you see on this, this uh, jet right down here inside the pool, he had a leak on that jet and the water was coming out and it was eroding and washing out down in this corner and what you can see happened and this is something you're going to want to look for when you're doing inspection around your pool is uh come out come over here joe if you can see from this angle from the corner you can see that that gap uh, from the pool decking so that that leak caused it to erode and wash out in this area and the pool deck settled as a cause of the pool leak so these are some things if your pool is leaking you want to get that fixed because that can wash out and erode and cause other problems. Um, also, the, uh, the stem wall that runs, you, you may have a stem wall on your pool uh, or patio. It's very, very common. Um, in this case, the stem wall along the back side of the pool also started to settle. You also can you know, walk around as we do the inspection on the coping. You know, you're looking for damage um, like this and cracking. And again, these are all signs that your pool deck is experiencing stress and it's settling and cracking because of it. This homeowner wants to remodel and wants to get all this back onto solid ground. So the solution is to utilize poly foam injections that you can see the guys were working our way around this whole entire pool patio, injecting it underneath the pool patio to strengthen and solidify the base and the foundation that the pool deck uh, rests upon. A common question homeowners ask is, when is the best time to get started on my repairs on my pool deck or patio that's settling and sinking? Well, the best answer is as soon as possible. If you continue to let these problems go, it's just going to cause more damage to where there's gonna be more, more settlement of your pool deck or patio, making it not only more difficult to bring up, but then you're gonna to have to go back um, just like this homeowner and do cosmetic repairs after. If you address the problem early on, right when you see the signs, you can stop the damage in its tracks and preserve and protect the pool deck or patio or house in the process. So you may be wondering, how do the guys know when to stop pumping the two-part uh, poly foam into the ground? Well, they have a laser over on the way 
And then the, uh, the operator, Ryan, here is, is watching this laser. And what are you looking for, Ryan, on this? Our first indication is a 30 second, which will show up as an arrow, either up or down for drop or lift. And immediately after that, the first register will be a 16th of an inch. And you're looking for what lift before you stop pumping? Um, stabilization, I just want to see a 16th to know I've hugged the slab. And then anything else, depending on if we're leveling back out the height of the, the down okay. level. So there you hear it, folks. So we go off of a, a laser level and uh, the operator, Ryan, is, is watching that. And that tells him when he's stabilized and when to stop pumping. So if you're looking to remodel your pool deck or you have your pool deck's in good shape and is just settling and sinking and you'd like somebody to come out to do a free inspection on that, give you some solutions, some ideas of what it would cost, give us a call at Helicon. We'd be happy to come out and do a free inspection for you.